Hi, this is Eric Martin from Working Geek. I'm here at Luigi from Cranio Creations looking at Pakal, or at least I should say a prototype, yeah, non-final version Pakal. Absolutely not final. Yes, <laughs> but we can learn how to play, yeah. and that's what we hope to do. Yeah, uh, this is a real-time puzzle-solving game for two to four players. Each player has his own board. Uh, the main mechanic of the game is this classic puzzle reading with sliding puzzle uh, okay. pieces. Um, each round, players must draw one of this objective tile, flip the sand timer, and then they have 45 seconds to solve the objective tile. Okay. You can see three uh, symbols here. All the players have different symbols on their board, uh, located in different spaces for each board. The goal uh, of, the, of the round is to make these three symbols and only these three symbols visible on your board. Okay. As you can see, some pieces are colored, some pieces are transparent, so you must slide them until the exact combination of symbol and only that symbol are visible. Okay. If you are able to do so in time, now you are allowed to pick up one scoring piece. One of these scoring pieces displayed here, okay. you can take it, one, but you cannot take one with the same symbol available on the objective tile. Okay. Okay, so the tricky part of the game is to solve the puzzle in time and then be quick to find which is the most valuable piece there. Because the piece, the symbol you, you took, is the next symbol your scoring marker goes to. Okay. So on the scoring track there are all the symbols. So let's say, for example, that I pick this one, my marker goes up to the next symbol. Okay. So this pick uh, dip, um, affect the number of steps you do right. on the scoring track. Okay. So this is the main mechanic, but there, there is a little twist in the game. So each time your marker crosses a, a red line on the scoring track, your uh, playing board becomes more difficult because you must take back one of your colored tile and replace it with one transparent tile. Okay. So the more transparent tiles you have in your board, the more difficult it is to have only three symbols visible. So this is balance the difference in skills between players, because sometimes it happens that you don't score points during a round because you are not able to solve a puzzle in time, or you pick a wrong piece. Right. Uh, in that case, you remove one transparent tile and take one colored tile back. Okay. So it's a very easy game, uh, family for all players, and short and very funny. Okay. And the designer of the game? Uh, the designer uh, of this game are two Italian guys, uh, Luca Bellini and Luca Borsa. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Luigi. Overview of Pacal.